Sylvain, I'll catch up with you. Let's keep an eye on the clock now. It's five hours. All right. Now, we couldn't see a thing that's going on apart from the clock going. And uh, what's going on? Well, normally the maneuver has started on board now. And OK, we have to see okay. and just wait for the telemetry. OK, that's part of the, your job, of course, Sylvain. Thank you very much. We'll be catching up with you later again, of course, as well. Now, as you know, it's often said uh, that uh, the journey is uh, just as much fun and it's just as exciting as the destination itself. And in Rosetta's case, that is certainly true. So we've got a bit of time. So let's take a moment to look at some of the highlights since Rosetta's launch back in 2004. <laughs> Ten years ago in Kourou, French Guiana, the Rosetta spacecraft set off on a breathtaking mission to rendezvous with a comet. In order to reach its target, Rosetta played a game of cosmic pool with two of the planets in our solar system. It swung by the Earth three times and once around Mars for a gravitational push on its long journey. In 2008, Rosetta imaged asteroid Steins, one of the millions of asteroids orbiting the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. Steins revealed itself to be a diamond-shaped rock covered in impact craters. In 2010, Rosetta met up with a different asteroid, Lutetia, believed to be around 4.5 billion years old, a remnant from when the solar system was formed. Covered in grooves, fractures and fault lines, one of its 350 craters stretches for 57 kilometers, the remains of a dramatic collision. Its composition also hints at a metallic core. After entering deep space, the spacecraft put all but essential operations into temporary hibernation in June 2011. Rosetta builds on the legacy of Giotto, ESA's first deep space mission and the first to chase a comet. Giotto made history as part of an international fleet of five spacecraft when it approached Halley's Comet in 1985. It got within 600 kilometres, producing a number of spectacular images including close-ups of the comet's nucleus. Rosetta will go even closer to a comet orbiting a comet for the first time and landing on its surface, 